wanted to create and of course uh, Mr. Baptist and uh, to all of the listeners uh, uh, resident here in Dominica or citizens or um, foreign aid workers were here and of course to um, our friends and families uh, in the diaspora uh, as we as we approach the the Christmas and Yuletide season Dominicans are confronted with the age old dilemma of determining whether their cup is half full or half empty. Do we shake our heads, uh, wring our hands, and wonder how could this have happened to us? Or do we celebrate the fact that we are bouncing back from a debilitating experience and that the world is rooting for us and we must not fail them? Ladies and gentlemen, friends, our frame of mind at this Christmas time will be influenced in large measure by our attitude. Is our cup, cup half full or is it half empty? Do we have something to eat or do we have next to nothing to eat? Did we get enough for Christmas or did we get something for Christmas? Will we dwell on the fact that our homes have been destroyed or do we give thanks that at least we have a roof over our heads and that the prospects for something more permanent are very encouraging? I would like from the on- onset this morning, the outset this morning, to appeal to my brothers and sisters in Dominica to work hard at formulating the right attitude to our acknowledgement, if not celebration of Christmas. We all know and are familiar with the biblical significance and the background to the celebration of Christmas. But for us in Dominica, it has always been more than about the birth of Jesus Christ. It has always been and must remain a period of love and fellowship. In the recent past, our celebrations of love and fellowship were decorated with lights, music, costumes, even hams, turkeys, spirits, and the like. We traveled abroad, and our friends and relatives came to visit. We exchanged gifts, and we looked forward to receiving some in return. We posted selfies and other pics of our glorious culinary creations, and generally, we celebrated in fine Dominican style. But ladies and gentlemen, friends, these were all mere expressions of that love and fellowship which remain at the core of our celebrations. Those value-added benefits will be absent and in short supply for many of us this Christmas. But I urge you to ensure that the love and fellowship remain. We may not have the trimmings of the season, but we must never lose sight of the reason for the season. This weekend, as we go into overdrive with our preparations, let us look next door. Let us gaze across the street. Let us reflect on the colleague who lost a loved one on September 18th. Let us think about the relative or friend who lost a house and is still housed in a shelter. Let us think of the senior citizen who is living all alone. Did their barrel arrive? Did they get a hamper? Have they had the energy to go collect their pension or government subsidy? Will they have a hot meal on Monday? My dear people, don't let us guess about these things this Christmas. I want each of us to make it our business to go find out. If the Spirit bids you to go check on someone, get up from where you are and go check on them. If you have chicken and pork on your plate this Christmas, think of the family down the road that has neither chicken nor pork. This is what I want Christmas 2017 
to be all about. We have all experienced and enjoyed the trimmings of the season. Let us not drill down and embrace the reason. Let us now drill down and embrace the reason for the season. I do not want to talk this morning about what's not working or about what needs to be done in 2018. There will be a time and place for that. I am concerned this morning that the many thousands of us who have decided to remain in Dominica and rebuild this country must use this period to consolidate and recharge our batteries. We have had a rough 2017. No one knows what awaits in 2018. But Christmas this year must find us as one loving, caring, and sharing people. This is no place in Christmas 2017 for race, creed, gender, or political persuasion. I want to call a halt today to all these considerations. I want a political ceasefire in Dominica this Christmas. It doesn't matter whether your neighbor is red, blue, green, or pink. Reach out to them and spread the spirit of Christmas. Today and tomorrow, as you shop for your children, buy an extra gift for child X in the community. You may not now know who child X is, but trust me, by Monday evening, you will. When you cook on Sunday night or Monday morning, cook a little extra. Be in a position to have something extra just in case. Before I entertain your questions and comments, I want to say a little something also to our brothers and sisters in the diaspora. You have been, for the main part, constructive and cooperative. You have risen to the occasion. You have been generous and you have been sensitive to the plight of your brothers and sisters back home. I want to urge you this Christmas season to let the spirit continue. Call a relative, call a friend, call a neighbor and ask to speak to someone down the street who may not have the use of a phone. They can run, take the phone to the person. They can arrange for you to call back in 10 minutes. Hearing your voice will, will, will mean the world to your mommy, your auntie, your friend, and relative. Also, my brothers and sisters, there are scores, indeed hundreds of foreign aid workers who are spending this Christmas with us, away from their families and loved ones. That's the height of their commitment to duty and love of this country. I want you to reach out to them. Don't leave them in the hotel or guest house or other makeshift accommodation. Invite them to your home, to your community, to your family and friends get together. They are helping to rebuild Dominica and this is the least we can do at this time to say a heartfelt thank you. So my dear people, Christmas is on Monday. I like the feeling I get as I move around the country. I will head, I'll be headed to some of the healthcare institutions tomorrow, myself and my wife. And I look forward to meeting with and having fellowship with as many of the sick and shortings as possible. I will do my part as Prime Minister. And I want each and every one of you to do your part as proud citizens of our beloved Dominica. Thank you.